Welcome everybody to a new multiplayer battle and this is still DI and we have two um, very similar factions here um, fighting against each other but most importantly this battle is a little different because um, I didn't um, I didn't fight it basically uh, this is between George and Geo um, I watched it live so I know um, what happened been roughly roughly i didn't uh watch too carefully it was doing other stuff as well but um i watched the stream and it was actually a very nice battle and what i know about this battle is, is that uh, was extremely extremely close um most importantly it was back and forth literally all the time um now i don't remember who's who um for what I remember, this should be Geo and this should be George. I remember they did um, two battles with the same factions and they swapped, so I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so, but I'm pretty sure this is Geo because I remember um, I remember the skirmish cav. Uh, so, well, I mean, I call this Geo and this George. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm right. Um, but yeah, um, so. Um, I will let the uh, the game go. Um, meanwhile, watch the armies here. Um, so for George, I can say he got a very sturdy. Yeah, no, this is definitely George. He has a very sturdy center with pikemen and oplites, and on the flanks he got, um, well, a way softer swords, very cheap um, on both flanks supported by the um, cavalry. This cavalry is the um, lesser noble. This is the uh, cheaper cataphracts by Colchis. And this is the um, Cartavillian cataphracts, which is the you know the actual cataphr uh, Cartavillian cataphracts. Um, on this other side, Geo doesn't have any um, cataphract at all. He only have light skirmish cav. Um, this cavalry isn't that bad, actually. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't like seven-speed cavalry. Um, or better, I don't like seven-speed missile cav. Um, but um, but yeah, the stats are, I guess, all right. Um, 13, 12, 23 armor. Um, I don't really know. I don't know how much how much the, they cost, honestly. So I can tell. Um, but yeah this is the situation and then for the infantry you got the uh spa the spa are the uh cartavillian cartavillian um levies um then you got the taurus honey spa uh which is the foot guard uh is like um well the elite spearmen on both sides so they're both mimicking mimicking each other uh that's how it seems like they're going for um like the same you know like same army, same army on both sides. Um, except Geo got this Armarsis Dekva, Dakva, whatever. Um, th this infantry here is very is very good, very effective. Um, and then you also have the Cartavillian Islanders. These Islanders can be really good. Um, of course, they have... They, I mean, they are um, sort of little axes or Sikas. Um, I think those are axes, actually. Yeah. Oh, well, a mix. A mix. Anyway, um, they are very good, um, but you have to use them carefully. You have to be sure you give the charge. Um, so they can be a little, um, a, li a little tricky. However, good move here. Um, for George, you move this spa forth to absorb the ammo uh, shot from the Islanders. Um, of course, the Slav is gonna be murdered. Um, I'd still rather don't waste any unit, in all honesty. Um, but I guess this isn't that much of a waste. Uh, especially if you are out of money, like you wanted to bring to bring like very good units. Um, I guess this is this is okay after all. Um, although, yeah, two kills, not good. 
Um, well, okay, so, 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 all right. Um, this is huge. This is huge for uh, Geo because there's a, a huge gap between the two lines. Um, here, what I would do is push here and start uh, pouring through my infantry. Like one here to stop this infantry to come forth, one here to stop other infantry to come, and then one other infantry to hammer and two infantry, one here and one here to hammer and anvil these phalanxes. And this is gone. This is over. <laughs> if you start doing that, um, the phalanx line falls in two seconds. Um, oh, the cataphracts are going in against the spears. Not a huge fan of this. Um, but um, I guess it makes sense. He got the cavalry. You have to use it. Um, still not a fan of charging into spears. This is... Uh, not cost effective. He lost three cataphracts to only kill what uh, 25 uh, spear, lavy spears. Um, I still don't think it's worth it. Um, but Geo really have here. Okay, at this point, honestly, I thought it was over because he only had to go around his phalanxes and um, yeah, basically lost like 10,000 if he if he loses the the phalanxes here. Um, so. But but Gio doesn't seem to go there, so he should be safe. He's reforming here, so this side is protected. But oh, look at this! Look at this! Of course, Gio now can't uh, can't exploit any gap because there's no more gap. But there is a gap for for George. You can pour through his cataphracts here. This is huge. If 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 Gio doesn't uh, close this gap right now, it's it's. I don't want to say it's over, of course, but it's sort of tough for him because he can just recharge these swords, the spears, he can do a lot of damage here. Uh, although Geo got a, a spearman unit here. He could reinforce. He's running though. Uh, here on this other side Geo have of course um, engaged. I like what he's doing here. He's trying to get his um, levies to engage first and then swapping them with other infantry. That's good. Oh my god, this cataphracts will actually have crazy amount of kills. Never mind. They actually took... I mean, they didn't kill anything, really. Uh, 15... Yeah, they killed 15 and they lost too many <laughs> okay this charge wasn't wasn't good oh yeah yeah that's exactly what happened here um as i as i told you before uh you should charge georgia should charge this cab this will proud okay this flank is really risky now it's really risky because he can just hammer and amble these two spearmen and those are uh each is like 1,500, this is like 3,000 worth, it's it's huge, really. Um, Geo should stop this cataphracts. If he doesn't stop this cataphracts, they will murder everything. Um, though it pretty much seems Geo is only investing on this side, really. I mean, he got the elites here. Oh, no, no. The elite spear are going to be recharged. Turned yellow already. Unit winning. Slightly. <laughs> Okay, but they're they're holding on. That's mm. ah, that's good. That's good. Should be able to hold uh, fifteen nine kills for this cataphract lesser noble cataphracts. Very good unit. I love this. Uh, very cheap and very effective. One hundred and twenty five for this one. Oh my God! No, the center is a mess. These cataphracts are also. Um, other cataphracts are coming in, and these Highlanders will die, unfortunately. But if the center is a mess for Geo, the side is a mess for um, for George, because this is all gonna crumble very quickly. Uh, these pikemen don't stand a chance against. Uh, sorry, these whole plates don't stand a chance against the the cavalry and the infantry. Uh, this will hold for some time, but this this is not good. This is not good. Either he keeps charging the rear of some spear with the cataphracts or else he's gonna lose this side and um i don't know if he can afford it because the battle is very much is very you know um very spread very wide and with the whole plates you can't really afford uh, to lose anything on either flank because otherwise the whole plates are gonna be uh you know outflanked and you're gonna eventually lose them um oh yes 
Yeah, I remember. I remember this shot. I was watching uh, while I was watching the replay. I mean, not the replay. The uh, the live stream yesterday. I was like, oh my god, the unit got wrecked. Um, good shot. Good shot though. Um, I think he walked though. <laughs> it walked over there too. Huge. It was classy. It was like, nah, I don't. I don't want to run. I will kill him anyway. Uh, Geo still not engaging his lighter cav uh, to the cataphracts. These cataphracts are doing whatever they want. Uh, that's not ideal. Yeah, they're charging the, the archers now. The general is holding on alone. He's doing a great job at holding, but eh, for how long can he go on? Honestly, I don't, I don't know. His general is kind of isolated right now. Um... This cataphracts, 212 kills, 212, oh, wow, the same. Should be careful with the calf. No, I don't know. Yeah. He formed pikes. I don't know if this cavalry will be enough to break the pikes. It seems like it is, actually. Oh, that's good, that's good. Mm. I mean, Geo's cavalry is actually doing... Mm, a wonderful job at killing, especially with the, uh, I mean, with the javelin. But, oh, wow, it seems pretty decisive now. It seems like Georgia is not going to win this. Kokis' is... side has, has been completely destroyed. This isn't, like, seems very decisive now, honestly. Um, although the general is still very, very isolated. And, oh, my God, he's been sandwiched by two pikemen and a cataphrax. And he has cataphrax on both sides. If this sword crumble, I mean, if this uh, sword flee, then the general might actually route. Oh, uh, no! Straight into the pikes. They didn't take any casualty. And, uh, uh, oh, the general. The general just uh, routed. Uh, hopefully he's not gonna die. Although, no, no, he will die. He will die. He will fall into the pike and die, yeah. Um, but still, um, currently has a lot of infantry, a lot of infantry. Something coming back from, uh, after routing too. Um, but of course they will have a huge morale, uh, like the, this unit will have a huge morale loss. Uh, this cavalry trying to break the Kokidian general. Um... I mean, if this general goes, if this general die, it's over, honestly. Um, he got nothing but two pikes and uh, the the cataphracts. If he loses both the pikes, it's it's really over. Because the cataphracts alone cannot cannot deal with all these elite spears and and um, heal, um, highlanders. The general is still holding though. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's gonna lose the general, at least for now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. He successfully pull, um, pull out of this clusterfuck. He's still shooting with his lighter, with his light calf. Um, I don't know how effective these have been to the cataphracts, honestly. I don't even know if he shot the cataphracts all the time. But if he... Oh wow, this is huge. If he can catch his general now, it's it's over. It's over. Either catch the general or crush the spikes. He has to do something because these tour uh this Torani spa are not going to hold forever, so uh, this is about the time to charge the rear of the spikes. There you go. This should be enough to route. Oh my god, what the hell? Ha! <laughs> he charged and his tour and, and, and his elite spear is just routed. Okay. Unexpected. Um I don't like the way this tour uh this fuck. This um foot guard is routing really. It might be because of the general uh you know uh, you know being a coward uh but still this this elite spirit should hold a little better 
Um, they are eating alive the Cartavian cataphracts, though. That's that must be said. Um, the real, I don't know. This has shifted completely in um, George's favor right now. Um, he still have the Hillmen. They can do a lot of damage. Uh, still got one elite, but the problem is this pike. Um, I can't ping. God dang it. Um, these spikes are going to be a pain in the butt because the um, they can ping um, down the uh, elite spear forever, and then the cataphracts can kill everything. And also, you still have one light cav, but he needs to support the infantry, otherwise it's not going to be great. Yeah, the battle definitely shifted when the general died. Um, yeah. Uh, if this pyramid go, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Well, that was a good battle. Let's see if this charge did, does anything, but I don't think. Oh, I mean, yeah, it broke one. Maybe it can break, break the, the cataphracts too. You need to charge these uh, archers at least, because they can do a lot of damage to this 23 armor uh, horses. And I think he's going for the archers now. Charge! No way. No way I would stand here. I would just, <laughs> I would just run home. <laughs> Good charge. 287. Amazing. 290 kills with this cavalry unit here. Uh, this seem this seem huge, honestly. Um, I don't know about the the rest of the cavalry. I'm pretty sure two cav units shot the archers first. Um, not not great, really. Um, but those are still a lot of kills. Uh, look how close this is. It really came down to two unit of infantry and a couple cataphracts. Um, I mean, this is not even a cataphract. This is just heavy, heavy cavalry. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Charge. All right, let's speed it up. Uh, I, can't, I think he still have ammo. He still wants to uh, shoot. He might... He might do that actually i don't know how many ammo we got but yeah it's over it's over gg costly victory for colchis all right all right uh first off thanks to both geo and calogero which is george on uh discord um thank you for the bubble um and um so let's see real quick uh geo have got one less cavalry um Danny got uh, one archer. Um, George has got five cav, very heavy cav cavalry, and three missile, uh, three missiles, three archers. Um, the rest is all infantry, three pikes, two hoplites, and yeah, spears and swords. Um, here we got five elite spears, um, the islanders and stuff. Um, I think the elite spears really did great, honestly. Um, 157, a little less for the general, but he had to face the uh, pikemen, so that's still a good, uh, good result. I'm a little disappointed by the um, Highlanders. I usually see them do better than this. I don't know why they died so early. Um, the levies did what the levy do um, on both sides, really. Um, and then the elites did a lot of kills. A little disappointed of this um, sword or, uh, sword unit here. Um, good job with the cavalry. Although I will, I would have still uh, sacrificed one of my ladder cav to block the cataphracts from you know pouring pouring from the gap. Um, George has left between the you know the opalites and the swords. Um, but anyway, I guess that's just another way to play it. Um, Three hundred and thirty three kills is still very impressive. Um, on this other side, I think really the cataphracts just <laughs> made probably won the won the battle. Five hundred and eighty seven, three hundred and three. This is huge for for George for and 
cataphracts are still very hard to manage. Um, the pikemen also did great, although I think they killed a lot of levies, honestly. Um, I think they mostly killed levies. Um, decent job, job with the archers. Um, I guess they only shot the cavalry, really. So, I'd say okay -ish. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys like the, uh, the battle. Um, I did enjoy it, um, uh, both time, honestly, uh, both on the stream and then the replay. Uh, I hope you also guys, um, loved it. And yeah, I guess see you in the next video. And probably the next video will be a battle from the Peloponnesian War Tournament, it's, um, that it's currently going on on the Caesars Forum. Um... I, I am in the tournament. I will not do videos of my battles, though. Um, I just want to do something that I've never seen before. Um, so I'll probably go with that. And yeah, see you. Bye.